what we have here is a H4 pattern part headlight from Art to Escort. Now, not only is it rusted in the bowl, but it's a H4 one. And the one on the other side, I think this is passenger, the one on the driver's side, was uh, is a Ford one, a proper Ford one. Uh, I managed to get a lens, a Ford lens. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pop this, haha, <laughs> easy said than done, get the lens off and uh, get the bowl re and then stick a Ford lens on. And because the Ford one on the other side is also rusted on the bowl, um, and if we only did this one, they would look very different, even though they have the same lenses on, we're going to get that one uh, chromed as well. So chroming, taking off two lenses, one a Ford one, one a H4 four one, uh, re-chroming the bowls and reassembling them. Now, Austin has sat there and picked out as much silicon as he can because this is not the original goo in there. It's been silicon with this, this bathroom sealer stuff. So we managed to bend a little bit out there and get a get a wire in. Not a wire, a, a, a line. So what I'm doing now is just sort of cheese wiring, sawing the, the line round. And it's popping through nicely, well, reasonably nicely. Quite hard on the corners. So it goes bang or pop or something. I have a history with breaking lights doing this. I broke one of my sibias because it was a rusted bowl, I wanted to get it re-chromed and I cracked my ends getting it off. There's actually a video that I haven't released on that but I will, probably It's quite painful to grip, grip this through the through the legs Join from around this corner. Is it actually making any progress there? It's getting hot. I'm going to try to go around the other way. That's where I was going. Ah, so we're already been that way. Yeah. So it's this way I'm going. Sides, legs start to get slippery. drop out as I'm driving down the road but uh, we had one a few years ago just parked the car in the drive turn the engine off and the lens dropped out onto the floor Didn't break it it's really tempting just to rip that off but 
You know what will happen if I do. Well, you get the idea. Maybe pop back in a moment. So, we just did a seesaw between the two of us and got around this corner. Now, Right, well in theory, and in practice, we are, God this stuff's horrible. There we go, got around that corner. I don't want to force it, because although I'm not using this lens, somebody else can. Maybe this is the lens that dropped off on me and I glued it back with silicon all those years ago. There we go. Look at that crap on there. I hate this stuff. And actually silicon is not a good thing to use because apparently it holds moisture under it and allows things to rot, but this hasn't, hasn't actually rotted. All right, I need to just fettle that edge there We'll do that with a dolly, maybe, and a hat, small hammer. Cut that edge, and we can go to chroming. I need to do the other one. The other one is uh, soaking in petrol. That's got the original sealant on it, and it's rock hard. So I might pull that out now and try it with a seesaw, fishing line, garden strimmer line thing. No health and safety comments, please. I'm doing here. So the, the, the fuel works in softening this up. It doesn't melt it. It's softening it enough, softening it enough to be able to pick this out. Like that. And then, hopefully, I can just fill the bottom edge of it now. So I think I can just peel that back ever so slightly. Let's go in. Get some more gunk out. I knew that was going to happen. Stab myself. I'm working on both ends. See which end pops first. Obviously, while I'm working on one end, the other end is soaking. She's got that knife in there now. Yeah. The thing that I, uh, the line I'll go in and we can do the same cheese cutter. What's it job? This is obviously the forward one. We picked out as much of the goo as needed to get the wire in. And now just see solder ring through it all. But I think I've just got to a point where I can pull it apart. Yep, it come out. Maybe even run a knife through my uh, through my leg here. Crusty, what you expect? Oh. 
So if anybody asks you how to get the bowls off of headlights, there's no definitive, an definitive answer. You could say any way that works. But the fishing line strimmer cord, nylon string works once you can get it in there. I might soak this in the petrol again just to uh, soften the glue up and sort of pick it up easier. And then we're off to the chroma with these bits and our cross flow header. So I spoke to a mate of mine in uh, America. He's a uh, exhaust chap. Does customs exhaust on the big V8s and stuff like that. And I said to him, well, out of leaving it, zinc plating it or chrome plating it, what should I do with the header? And he said, ceramic coat it. Well, that's not an option. So we got the zinc. That was his second choice. So off the chromas, get the header zinc plated and the two headlight bowls chrome plated. See you shortly. These are the headlight glasses. So we said something earlier, or maybe this is the continuation of the video. If this is a continuation of the video, we have now cleaned the lenses. One of these came from England, and one of these came from the car. And you saw wiring the lens away from the bowl, and these are the bowls. And I've had them re chromed because they were nasty, rusty, and stained. Well, guess what? I ain't rusty and stained anymore. See some pitting where the rust was. That don't matter. And then this obviously we're gonna glue back on. That's number one. stop lights are available anymore. I guess if they are, they'll probably search and find something. Uh, I reckon it'd be a few hundred quid. So I think that lens was, I bought two of them for 20 quid, 25 quid or something off eBay. One is slightly different. This is both Lucas ones. I think I've got a Corello one or something. If anybody wants a Corello, right, that's the other one. And that again will go like that. So they're going to look quite good in there, I think. It's really shiny. It's the stuff I bought for uh, sticking together. I don't want to use silicone, I don't like silicone. It's not nice. It doesn't belong in cars. It's urethane and it's a window weld product. It's actually black. I don't think it's going to matter. The original Colt stuff on there was white, but it's actually black. And I've put a thin bead on there and I don't think it'll matter. You may just see a faint black line around there, but. I'm sure that's going to be acceptable. So I need to find my gun, set that up, and do some masking. So I'm going to use masking tape and mask all the way around there, so I, don't get any, so I can get a nice clean line. When it's in there and squelches out, I can pull the, the tape off and leave a clean line. 
I can't mask in here because obviously I can't get the tape out once I've done it. But I will, I think, mask around the outline of the light there. So I'll do that first off camera, save a bit of time, and uh, come back when I'm ready to, to do a bead. So I've masked up the. <laughs> I've masked up the perimeter of that and the perimeter of that, and I've punched my hulking stuff. I haven't had a practice. Oh, right. It's got the ling pull in it. It's like a can of drink. How cool is that? Right, I've cut a little angle on the end so I can get a bead. I'm overthinking all this. Mm -hmm. Seems to be a fair bead there. And it does touch. So in theory it doesn't need too much. We'll go with that. I don't know whether I should have roughed up the chrome before uh, applying this actually. That would have been an idea, wouldn't it? Keyed it up. Question is, do I stop now? Yes. I stop now. I get a little bit of uh, sandpaper, and I do just key the rest of that up. I hope we better than nothing. Right. stuff stick screens in so even if it's only properly keyed on this bit I think it's gonna be fine. Just belt and braces. Okay. So now, that's the top and the bottom, that's the top, I'm just going to put a tiny little bit more in here. Uh 
hasn't squeezed out of that, has it? I've just gone on there. The stuff only takes apparently 15 minutes to cure. Depending on humidity and temperature and whatnot. I don't think it'll be long out here. Can actually see the black inside, just ever so slightly. Like that. But it's all right. I think that's fine. I'll do the next one off camera. Next, we'll put them in. Leave them for 15 20 minutes, maybe have lunch and put them in. Right, so. The stuff that I squeezed out onto the uh, tissue was dried, proper dry, no tackiness whatsoever to it. So that would indicate that curing is done. So I'm just going to pull that tape off, that's <coughs> a bit loose. And let's just see. Yeah, that's, that appears to be proper on there. Does it? Pretty much as long as they're pointing forward, they'll be okay. So one of the lights had a reflector and the other one didn't. So easier to take the one that did out so they both don't have and they look the same. But that leaves two holes there. So I'm just going to uh, just going to put a piece of heavy duty tape over that. Right, this is aluminium tape. two holes off there. Just put PVC tape on there or gaff tape or whatever. It won't last. So this stuff will last. This is like maybe a roof flashing. Ah, oh, not looking too bad there at all. Time to put the grill on. Go. Eee. 